Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews now and super excited to share with you today's video because we've traveled all the way here to Singapore to check out Huawei's Open Lab. Now you might be wondering what is Huawei's Open Lab all about? Well, let me show you this really cool space. Right at the back, there's actually multiple labs and departments that's actually carrying out a lot of R&D and innovation to provide solutions to solve real world problems. Now I'll talk a little bit more about those problems later, but just think of this Open Lab here as sort of an all-in-one, under one roof solution that combines the best technology, amazing talent, and together with the partners, they'll provide these solutions to solve the problems like, you know, traffic diversion, traffic control, smart campus, and so much more. So, the first thing that I want to talk about here is actually about that traffic diversion and smart intelligent transportation system. And for this, let us head outside so that I can share with you a little bit more about that. It's really fun, trust me, let's go. All right guys, so like I said earlier on, the first solution that we're going to talk about here is all about roads, uh, traffic diversion, how we can solve, you know, like a lot of traffic congestions, and of course, how we can solve issues with like illegal driving on the road. So what Huawei and Open Labs have come up with is based on AI, 5G and cloud, they have produced an intelligent transportation solution that can be used to monitor and control urban traffic. So the first part of this brain is actually the road surveillance system. It can capture traffic info and send it back to the command center to be processed instantly. So what happens here is that this data and information are then used to identify not just traffic status in real time, but to also predict upcoming congestions and use this info as reference for traffic control and diversion. Alright, so say for example, in KL where I am from, usually after working hours, you will notice that the city is congested with traffic. It's so bad that it is barely moving. So what do we do is, traditionally, we have the traffic police to come out and manage the traffic, divert traffic manually using their hands. Well, you might notice that with this kind of solution, it doesn't really work that well and everyone is still frustrated and can't really move off the road. So with Huawei's intelligent road surveillance system, you can expect AI and cloud to work for the people here to intelligently control traffic lights, calculate what's really happening on the road in real time, and provide the best road diversion to ensure smoother traffic flow. Alright guys, so now that we've just finished talking about traffic diversion and traffic control, another really cool part of this uh, AI and 5G from Huawei is that it helps out with ANPR, that is Automatic Number Plate Recognition. Now you might notice that this is not a new technology and there are a lot of cameras by the streets that are capturing people who are driving recklessly or illegally. Now with this Huawei's AI, what it can do is actually help to get clearer images of the car's number plates. Imagine this, let's say it's raining very heavily or it's at night, midnight and there's not enough light to capture a proper image for the police. But with Huawei's AI, you can actually get a clearer image. All right guys, so the next thing that Open Lab is working on is the smart campus. Now you might be wondering, what is a smart campus? Now to put it in really simple terms, it's basically a couple of buildings connected together. So to start off, a campus is basically a unit of cities that could include traffic intersections, smart factories, commercial complexes, hotels, hospitals, schools, and even more. Now, by making use of cloud computing, IoT, big data, AI, and other ICT tech, Huawei is able to build a secure, efficient, and green smart campus. Alright, so just to let you know, the smart campus comprises of a lot of cool tech and I think there's five that I want to share with you guys today. So please bear with me as I try to explain it in a little bit more layman terms. Now the first one that I want to share with you is all about people coming in and going out of the campus. It can be employees and it can also be visitors. So let's first start off with the employees. Now basically, whenever you go to an office building, a not so smart office building, you will notice that you have to carry your card, tap in and then you can enter the premises. However, with Huawei's smart campus, you don't need to do all that because it has facial recognition. Whenever an employee comes up to the station, they can all they need to do is scan their face and they will be able to enter the building itself. And not only that, it's actually linked to the HR management system so they can actually capture your attendance at the same time. So not only is it faster, but you also get more things done. Alright, so moving on to visitors coming into the premises, usually, traditionally, you will need to go to the front desk and submit your identity card, maybe fill in a couple of forms and give your reason as to why you want to enter the building. It's usually a very time-consuming process and you get very frustrated. So the goal here with Open Lab is they want to try and create zero waiting time for visitors coming into the premise. So what they need to do is very simple. All they have to do is sign up and put in their details online in an application, state their reason for coming in, and once it is approved, 
the visitor will be given an electronic pass where he or she can come in directly to the premises. If that person is even driving a vehicle, it's even easier because we have number plate recognition as well. And the best part is we can actually feed the visitor route guidance so they can find the fastest way to come to that premises. So all in all, it's going to be a seamless process for the visitor with zero waiting time. Alright, so now that we've done with staff and visitors, the third thing that we have here is all about asset management. Now again, you might notice that if you are working in a typical office, you have a lot of devices and whenever you want to get a new device, you have to enroll with your manager, you know, get those devices and it's actually a very tedious process. Sometimes devices also get missing. Now with OpenLab solution, basically the asset management is brought to the next level. OpenLab can actually deploy a large-scale smart asset management system which can detect asset status in real time and greatly improve asset utility. Utilization. Now with IoT, the asset management system is able to track the devices where they are and is able to tell when a device is brought out of the premises without authorization. So basically, in a nutshell, it's able to track all your devices and you don't have to worry about things going missing. Other than that, if an employee needs more devices, again, the asset management system can track it down instantly and provide them with devices that are not being used. Now the fourth thing about a smart campus is that they usually deploy intelligent meeting rooms. Now I think this part is actually the most simplest part of this system because just imagine this, you walk to the office, you have your screens, everything is on the board and whenever someone writes down something on the meeting board, it will get recorded in real time and the meeting minutes can be pushed to all the employees that need them. Now other than that, the security of employees in the smart campus is also extremely important. So think about this, we have a firefighting management system done by OpenLab that helps to solve fire incidents. So say for example, a fire happens in a workplace or any building for that matter. Generally, we'd expect the smoke sensors to go off and alert people within the area. However, with open lab system, the fire incidents can be monitored remotely via video. With just one click of a button, the security team can initiate an escape plan and dispatch the relevant emergency response team to the affected area. Other than that, the system is also clever enough to remotely open all electric locks within the area to allow people to escape. In case there are those who are still unaware, the system will push evacuation messages to their mobile devices and alert the fire department if necessary. All in all, this entire solution by Open Labs allow them to handle emergency situations more efficiently and reduce response time. So these are the five key items that I wanted to share with you regarding the smart campus. Previous versions of Open Lab envisioned today from the past while the Open Lab 3.0 peers beyond the future through the lens of tomorrow. Leveraging the collective expertise and the experience of Huawei and our partners, we seek to attain synergy, explore untapped potential, and cultivate a fresh wave of forward-looking applications and solutions. Ultimately, we aim to extend our reach across Asia-Pacific and empower the digital transformation of various industries throughout the region. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up our quick look at Huawei's Open Lab here in Singapore. Again, you can see the massive use of Huawei's 5G, AI, IoT, as well as the cloud to provide solutions that really changes our daily lives. Now, if you want to find out more information about Huawei's Open Lab, I'll be happy to put a link down in the description box below. And last but not least, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Don't forget to sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do stay safe and take care everybody. Bye!